The first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Magic with a Game 3 opportunity to dig themselves out of a 2-0 hole. They will need to bring all they can muster against the Cavaliers. Round 1 of the NBA playoffs continues. We are set for Game 3 in this Eastern Conference Round 1 contest. It's been a lopsided 2-0 series, but that might change tonight. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. And a couple of injuries among their reserves. I expect their starters will be ready to do whatever's needed. The NBA postseason, not for the weak of heart. A few injuries on their end, complicating things a bit, but they're looking to hang in there. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And a lot of size for him, with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. And it's Okoro in at the three. And for Orlando, Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. Suggs is out there with Markel Fultz. And it's Ingles in at the three. You look at the Magic, this is a must-win game for them after they were unable to steal either of the first two. Yeah, must-win indeed. Falling behind 3-0 as the lower seed is a death sentence. This team wanted a better round one performance than they've had so far. And the Magic start out with a ball. Here's Suggs, guarded by Garland, releases... And Van Carroll with the bucket and the assist from Suggs. You have to be ready on the catch. Paolo Van Carroll, easy work on the jumper. Garland looking around. Mobley on a screen. Shot is up. And the shot is good by Garland. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Bolts against Mitchell. Carter, a screen on Mitchell. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, you love that Mark Cole Bolts has the ability to draw the defense's hand and get himself to the foul line. Two shots. one falls. Well, guys, certainly Markel Fultz had a rocky start with his first organization, but the change of scenery has helped him immensely, and I think he's proven, while still finding his footing, that there is a place for him at this level. So he gets them both. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Allen with a screen on Fultz. Just five to shoot. Here's Garland. Pass to Okoro. Out left to the wing. Clock at six. Garland, the pass to Okoro. Fires the three. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Ingles passes to Ben Carroll. Good D by Mobley. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Outside Garland. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Ingles finds Ben Carroll. with the block. That's a big time send back by 
Evan Mobley. That length is real, folks. Look out. For Cleveland, they've gone two of three from the floor. Holtz against Mitchell. Let's go with a three. It's hauled in by the Magic. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. And Carroll passes to Carter. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. And it's the Magic with the ball. Bolts against Mobley. Four on the clock. The Magic need to put one up here. And subs the bucket on the assist by Fultz. Well, you cannot let the shot clock dwindling affect your patience and ability to make good decisions. Jalen Suggs, excellent bailout. Here's Okoro. Out to Mobley. Back to Okoro. Pass to Mitchell. Outside Garland. From down low. And they force the shot and clock violation. Great P. Orlando making some changes. Isaac, he's checked in for Bancaro. Harris comes in for Fultz. And Anthony subbed in for Suggs. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. Niang comes in for Evan Mobley. Struess, he's checked in for Okoro. And Levert subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Anthony outside. Isaac in the post. Niang's there. Isaac's shot is off. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. One eleven left in the first quarter. Back to Thompson. Pass to Garland. And it's Wendell Carter with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And just wasn't able to set up in time. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Morris has checked in. Number six, Marcus Morris Sr. Back to Niang. Outside Garland. Shot clock at six. Morris, a screen on Anthony. Shot from the top of the key. They still need this. And it's Harris with the rebound. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Pass to Anthony. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. And he parries his first look. Cole Anthony is unafraid to take on anybody willing to finish through contact. Yes, sir. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Morris, a screen on Anthony. Back to Garland. Pass to LaVert. From downtown, sinks the tray. Well, Karis LaVert has worked diligently to make his three-point shot legitimate. Knocks that one down. Now here's Anthony. Carter, a screen on Garland. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Magic. They lead by a bucket. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. And for the Magic guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? 
Well, coming into tonight, maybe you thought they were going to settle for perimeter jump shots. <laughs> nope, that's not the case. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. The Cavs trailing. Mo Wagner is out there with Jonathan Isaac. Then it's Gary Harris. Then there's Anthony. And it's Ben Carroll in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Now here's Nia. No made baskets yet. Struce against Isaac. Pass to Ben Carroll. Harris outside. Six to shoot. Here's Wagner. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Well, how about the vision and unselfishness to find your open teammate, Gary Harris, pretty pass. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Niang, pass to Struce. Back to Niang, pass to Mitchell. The three is up. Cool, Mitchell with the smooth stroke from distance. Well, we know Mitchell can hurt you from outside the arc. The defense better recognize this moving forward. Isaac outside. Here's Ben Carroll. Down low. Here's Wagner. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Wagner's gotten four this quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Out of bounds, it'll be Magic Ball. So for the Magic, Fultz comes in for Isaac. And Suggs is subbed in for Harris. And Cleveland with a change here too. Thompson's checked in. Second quarter basketball. Just over a minute and a half played so far. Bogner outside. Wagner with a screen on the vert. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Uh, you have to wonder, can a young guard play in the pick and roll and make the right decisions? Pretty pass from Cole Anthony. He's saying, yes, I can run pick and roll. The vert, that's good. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Anthony against LeVert. And Carroll with a screen on LeVert. Floats one up. Shot blocked. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Thompson. From deep, Bruce. And the Cavaliers, another three. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Fultz with it. After the outside. Wagner up top. Let's the three fly. He drops it from range. Wagner's got nine. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. The egg. Pass to Mitchell. Shot misses. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Wagner, the pass to Suggs. Van Caro outside. Off the mark there with a three. And so Thompson will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Trailing by two. Right side Mitchell. 21 left in the second quarter. It's rebounded by Wagner. The Magic have gone four for six here in the second. Suggs, the pass to Anthony. Blocked! Now, Nia. No points yet. Mitchell with the ball. Holt picks him up. Back to Nia. Pass to Levert. Now, Nia. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell, the pass to Nia. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. The shot by Levert, no good. Orlando has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Anthony up top. 
Now here's Ben Carroll. Got a piece of it. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. It's Truce with a drive. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Magic. So for the Magic, Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Isaac comes in for Ben Carroll. And it's Ingles in for Anthony. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Allen, he's checked in for Thompson. Mobley comes in for Niang. Okoro is checked in for Struess. And Garland is subbed in for Mitchell. Orlando leading. Here's Suggs. With some arc. Mobley with the block. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Magic. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be back with you shortly. 17. Welcome all. Game three, and it's a real halftime cliffhanger for the Orlando Magic. When you look at the metrics, they've done a great job offensively, really focused on getting the most out of each possession. The execution has been sharp. I love how they're playing right now. Hold on just a second. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around that, Kenny. You saying when you look at the metrics? <laughs> yeah, right. Checking out the circumstances for the Orlando Magic. They find themselves down two games to none. Could be looking at a tough path forward. Shaq, uh, is panic part of the vocabulary? Normally, you don't say panic in situations like these, but right now, these guys need to smash that panic button, do something different. I don't think they could take the same approach and win this series. Adjustments are needed for them to get back in it. Just like adjustments are needed here in the studio, but that's a story for another day. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Boy, you look at Mo Wagner. What a contribution. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Mitchell and Okoro, they're the wings. And it's Garland in at the one. Yeah, there are levels to this. And Donovan Mitchell can hurt you from every one. Nice midi there. Here's Suggs, guarded by Garland. Suggs, no good. Cleveland has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Back to Allen. Pass to Garland. Allen, right side. Over Suggs. And Allen gets it to go on the assist by Garland. Garland's got three assists now in this one. Orlando trailing here. And here's Fultz. Here's Suggs. Guarded by Garland. Ben Carroll with a screen on Garland. Let's it go from 11. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Garland with the ball. Pass to Mobley. Six to shoot. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got four assists now tonight. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Here's Suggs. Orlando calls timeout. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most?
On the wing, Ingles. Outside, Fultz. To the middle. Ooh, stolen by Allen. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. And the shot is good by Garland. Now it's a six-point Cleveland lead. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. On the wing, Suggs. Guarded by Garland. Fultz passes to Ingles. Mitchell against Fultz. Ooh, poked away. Stolen by Mitchell. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. This guy is a gamer. Darius Garland is not bashful and very aggressive setting up defenders. One falls for him. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? Is he's so aggressive. He plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players. Karis Levert's checked in for the Cavaliers. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Orlando Magic. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Now here's Ben Carroll. They need this. The big man, Ben Carroll, showing the range. Well, just taking the time to get the play set up pays off. Ben Carroll doesn't rush. Mitchell against Fultz. Allen with a screen on Fultz. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Ingles against Levert. Pass to Ben Carroll. The take from Ben Carroll. Puts the move on. That shot, no good. The Cavaliers leading. Minute 32 left in the third. Okoro passes to Mitchell. And there is a whistle. That goes on Joe Ingles. That's his first foul. Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. Cole Anthony comes in for Ingles. Nie, he's checked in for the Cavs. Struess comes in for Mitchell. Here's Levert. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Levert's got eight. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Right side, Fultz. On the take. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence. Showing right there he can get through the defense. Garland with the ball. Five points in the game. Over Suggs. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. Now here's Isaac. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Anthony. Tipped. The aggressiveness from Okoro to send that back. That's in my house. Here's Garland. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Magic have got just two of six in the second half. Fultz finds Anthony. Here's Suggs. It's stolen by Garland. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. It'll count. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Oh, they're on fire. The run punctuated by the big trifecta. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. 
We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver, and he did just that. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. We've got Ben Carroll. Jonathan Isaac is out there with Mo Wagner. Then it's Gary Harris, and it's Anthony in at the point. That's who's out there for Orlando. Now here's Garland. Outside Mitchell from the arc. It's rebounded by Wagner. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Anthony outside. Clock at six. The three from Ben Carroll. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Struce the pass to Mitchell. Back to Struce. Outside Garland. Pass to Mitchell. And here's Levert. Here's the three. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got five assists in the game. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And the Magic call time here. The Magic making a switch here. Ingles is checked in. Niang, he's checked in for the Cavs. Okoro comes in for Struess. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Jamal Mosley was just reviewing the plan with his team. Coach wanted his guys to ignore the scoreboard. He said, don't even look at the numbers. Just take it possession by possession. Make every chance count, and we'll see where we stand at the end of this game. Back to you guys. As always, Ali, we thank you. few possessions into the fourth just over a minute play Anthony feeling it out a bit the rebound by Garland nice rebound trying to match the other team's intensity right now there's the three missed it four for seven so far in this one and this is exactly who you want taking that shot just missed it. Harris passes to Ingles. Back to Harris. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Ingles. Harris has got his first basket. I'll tell you, Joe Ingles is proving that as a passer, he is a special player. Anthony against Garland. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Mo Wagner. And Darius Garland has just grown so much. Draws the contact right there. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for Cleveland. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. The other thing that jumps out about their performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. That's good from Garland. Orlando making some changes. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Fultz comes in for Harris. And Suggs is subbed in for Anthony. Jared Allen, he's checked in for the Cavs. Evan Mobley comes in for Levert. off on the second the Magic have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began 
Ben Carroll against Mobley. Ben Carroll outside. And a miss there on the triple. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Allen finds Mitchell. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Takes a step back. Here's Ben Carroll. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. One thing Boncaro knows how to do is get himself to the foul line. He puts defenders in a position where they have no choice but to foul. And that one misses. As much as Boncaro is going to get to the line, he wants to be more efficient. Mitchell down low. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Mobley deciding where to go with it. Back to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. To the paint. And it's Mobley. That time on the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got three assists tonight. Man, that is a big time tough finish. Evan Mobley doesn't back down. Now here's Ingles to the inside. Mobley with the block. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. And Carroll finds Fultz. The three from Suggs. And the three-pointer goes. Jalen Suggs showing you supreme confidence right there. On the catch, ready to rise and fire. Inside, here's Okoro. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Orlando calls timeout. They trail by 12. There's a minute 12 left in the fourth quarter. against Ben Carroll. Fires for three. The rebound by Allen. And it's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. And that'll wrap up game three. Now we'll look ahead towards an important game four for the Cavaliers. This team did a lot of things well tonight. Number one was passing the ball. And it was a team that was in rhythm. And they just trusted each other to take the right shots. And with their performance tonight, you have to think this series is all but over. It's impossible to see it any other way. And I don't think it's going to get past game four. If this doesn't end in a sweep, I'll be shocked. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for Darius Garland. Well, unselfish basketball. His ability to create for others has been the story of this game. Now here's Mitchell. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. To the inside, Allen. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And they knew it wasn't going to be easy to win on the road, but they've controlled the pace on this one. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. And 
And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. And now that they're up 3-0, winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Darius Garland.